We are back. As I said, with Star Rail. Um, so yeah. For uh, the world later. And just uh, for a side note, I've been playing, like, finish up with the engine events. So, just a little bit extra since I have a bit more time. We're jumping into Star Rail and the new update. I also already got um, Ekaron off stream <laughs> because I didn't expect I would stream today, so I've already been rolling for her since I do plan on building her. And I actually got quite lucky on rolling her because I got her, uh, but I actually haven't gotten Gallagher yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gallagher's still missing, and he's the four star. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I actually will like roll for Gallagher or not, because since he's a four star, he will be like available more easily in the future. And I don't plan on building him immediately, so. Okay. I will just wait and see. Maybe I will do it. Maybe I will not. Um, I already went for all those news messages today. Why are there a lot of new ones already? And also, um, hey there, Wolf Andy. Um, if you're still here and didn't go like on my break, but you did uh, like right in the chat during my break. So yeah. Mm, I also got a new message from Pom Pom. Okay, we got a message from 2D Express. Is it one of these things before? No. What kind of package is it? This one before, that thing. Okay. Who is the recipient? That would be good to know. <laughs> I like the sticker with the melon. From another nameless in the cosmos. Interesting. Mm. Alright, on my way. Package for the nameless. I guess we will just check it out. I'm curious what this will be about now. Before we actually like um, jump into the story, don't jump scare me, music. Welcome to the Interastral Peace broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Is it still the same or is it a new one? Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace broadcast. Let's just listen for a bit. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Xianzhou Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great nice. economic benefits to both parties. That one is old. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor nice. Rufus I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Russell? Potential Disaster Index. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. <laughs> the Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the long. Yeah, this is old. We already have that one. Okay, and after noticing that you got close to the package, Pamonga decided to came over from somewhere else. Hey there, what's the matter? Are you interested in the package as I'm bet you are? I was confirmed. But it's for the life of us. Wait, okay. Uh, yeah, what's the hair on Express Career package doing here? <laughs> I feel like with Star Wars, we should fixate on the strange things because there's a lot of them. Um, from another the nameless. Mm hmm. There's plenty of gifts and by the nameless. Other nameless. Who is the other one? So I had a along with us. Many nameless continue to hold on to the roof to the right place. So, papa. Mm, 
okay, there people can be nameless even though they have like never traveled of the express. Mm. It's like real interesting fun fact, I would say. Mm, protection device in the style of a scroll. Uh, yeah, you can form one nameless. Wait, why is there two pom poms on street on screen? <laughs> <laughs> Randomly, just a second pom pom walking right in. Hello there. Hmm. <laughs> 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 now he's sad. <laughs> From uh, hundred years ago. So let's talk about it later. Okay. Okay, this was in it for me. Uh, we could have an insignificant insignificant blessing for the travelers. Why is this insignificant written in bold letters? And why does it look so, so weird in the Star Red text box? Um, for you, okay. Is this like a longer side quest? It was spreading everywhere, so it was blocked. Blah, blah, blah. Bye bye, pom pom. I mimic him Why can't you mimic the power from the gun of recollections? Oh, this is Cosmodicy stuff. Ah, this is actually like an event. Uh, okay, don't worry. This is three place, of course. We need to roll less than to advance on the map. I feel like this is like an event with like server wide people like where depending on how many people play this we get more bonuses. Mm, you're not a bit of a fun to pump pump, the more fun to contribute the more personal rewards they unlock. Contribution from all trade places will gradually unlock cosmic contribution rewards. Alright. Um really more dice. Okay. Mm, the tire for slot machine. Okay. Is it just Angie? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's just roll some dice, I guess. Um, this is an encounter tile. Here's the person before you, she is a straight up papa. Uh I'm trying to interview him with a rich enough script. Hmm. I mean biologically into real human, uh Make it mimic enough to make it act like a real human. I feel like it could be possible. Uh -huh. Should have wasn't turned this forward. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can reroll. Okay, sweet.
I feel like this is like not RNG yet because it's like tutorial. We sue for every time a die is cast. It was doable not to buy that. Choose to compare. Wants us to take the bubble, alright. Okay. Okay. And that's wrong. Your impression of Asa cannot keep the type of a rich lady anymore these days. True. She is a rich lady. Jobby is just a UFO and sometimes quick tempered lead researcher. She has invited you to observe the stars on ID Ref at the point in place only to set eyes upon a newly purchased, mega luxurious, and obscenely expensive telescope. Of course. Who wouldn't be overwhelmed by this feeling of um, I were if we just sent next to her? Um, you go to the stairs, guy. You seem to see her count on timer. Um, just saw some ca constellations to recognize. Ah, okay. Okay, we are shooting up the country creature base of funds. Okay. Okay, what does a remote eye do? Ah. Okay, is it forcing me to take the five? Ah, because it wants me to land on this. All right. Uh, whenever that's good, we need a few people to organize the diner. Uh, sign number of persons, okay. Who's the best person to go out by groceries? Uh, Asa, maybe? We'll be in charge of cooking links. I wouldn't let Rural May into the kitchen. This can just, like, end up in a catastrophe with all of her experiments. Too much the place after the meal, Arlen. Like, what the world do you feel like most normal people <laughs> <laughs> among all of them? Okay. Oh, wow. This is a big board. Okay. Ah. Give a like to try to get a reroll coin. Okay. Who do I want to give a few likes? Of course. I'd say there's always getting one. <laughs> I can give myself a like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you give yourself a like? <laughs> um. Mm hmm hmm. Here come, here Kobe. Why not? Mm -hmm. What are like rewards? Professor, okay. The press affinity test. There's a affinity test? Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Let's just do a normal die roll. Mm, 
You know her, that's super busy, but each time you meet, she always reminds you to test out a simulated universe if you're not busy. But now, the Hurler puppet before you is full of joy, warmly holding your hands and saying, your charisma is just so breathtaking. It is simply my honor to greet you. What in the world is going on? Uh, okay, in any case, better give a good swing with your bed first. Uh, I feel like one should ask questions first before hitting, so let's just do it normally. <laughs> Poor my best boy thinks you're good. <laughs> Alright. I like that response. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can see like on which fears I've landed. Interesting. This is a cute called Dotter New World. Um, it's a common scene. Sex powder. Only reason think out of the box and have someone else flush the toilet for you. Let's do it like this. Okay, I get an ordinary die. I'm gonna take it. We are playing a bit of Monopoly, I guess. <laughs> It would be more fun if you could, like, play against someone, though. The end. Ah. Okay. The test was as you see, which is very expensive. We got it from Mr. Yumo, I most like. Let's just take the test. There's a new ghost story floating about in the space station. I know you also accepted a mission from Adler. When faced with a mission that doesn't pique your interest, but must be completely done, that's what we'll do. Uh, keep calling and carrying on with the mission. Hmm. We actually get, like, a percentage from what other has picked. Interesting. We've learned some, some fresh go uh, gossip about a space station from which you are knowing at all, and it's related to the lead British Aster. He asked you not to tell him what you think. Can't get a peeve out of me. That's yeah, a surprise, was it? Yeah, you can't get a peeve out of me. <laughs> you and Alan uh, are having a disagreement on which road to walk. Peppy, what would you guys do? Sign a dog walking agreement? Can't you ask Peppy? <laughs> I feel like that's a better response. <laughs> we already know that even geniuses will fight amongst themselves. Or it can be said that they don't see the direction the moon is going. How are you going to solve the issues? Uh, a barbecue sounds nice. Tries have been recorded. Thank you for finding a story. Okay, I only will get like an answer once I'm done with all of them. So it seems to have changed the paths. Go take a look. Okay. Um, let's just roll normally. Oh, we can buy stuff. Actually, we want to buy another blood, so let's go. Let's go for the gold field. Like golden spot. Ooh. Wait. Get a following buff after putting when obtaining three plus ones we see. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the Rima die. Can I pick which path I go? One, two, three, four. 
Okay. Bump into Bronya on your own at the Bellabog Museum's History Culture Hall. She is staring blankly at the portrait of Cocoria, evidently enjoying a rare moment of privacy. If a Bronya has grown into a valuable Supreme Guardian, she is still her mother's daughter. Maybe there's something you can do. The fruit was surprised to the of flowers for her. Um, fireworks acquired. <laughs> uh, I think we can retry. I want to get good stuff for Bronny. Come on. It's just not letting me. Oh, it also doesn't mark it off as, like, uh, done, though. Mm -hmm. Just moving, I think, will make me more in the long run. Who's the best person to write a script for stage plays? Sparkle could make an interesting one. Set up the stage. Uh, Servo. Acheron, maybe? I'm gonna go with Acheron. It could be interesting. I will already we might die then. Okay. Sure. You get a price of whatever you pick first. Ah, interesting. Coins just giving me coins. Okay. Okay, your friend Dose Semper has been arrested by the Zoro main guards, but this time you're perfect sure he was framed. The Zoro main guards have the wrong person. It's up to you to help him. To slap him with a heavier sentence. Um, yeah. Ask Green and see you. You've been requested by Chapar to the Willardy Emergency Military Supplies to the Garrison Squad at the Snow Plains before sundown. But along the way, you run into a smuggler band on the verge of death. Need someone to help them return to the city. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, they can just un arrest the smugglers right there on the spot, so. A mind occupied by Raccoon's boss discovered during the Underworld's land development. Wildfire knows that they have impeded development progress in the surrounding towns, but also understand the Raccoon's have rights, so what will you do? Always talk first before writing stuff. Uh, Fight Club's proprietor Scott says that he hopes you will join in the boxing tournament to beat up a scrawny contender. It's all voluntarily though, so you don't have to be all 
More you talking about it. It guarantees that you make a building. Uh, I'm not the... I just don't enjoy finding. I mean, you could do the fighting and just make it, um, just go like easy on him and such, but I just rather not fight. buy more blood. Remember then I'm getting embroiled in more trouble since his return to the law who is the end show. Flit a chance of slowing down to take in the sides. But is he really someone who likes to wander? This isn't important because you and March 7th are about to do that. As expected, Dan Hung has been tracked here to listen to Mr. Xian's narrate the legend of the trailblazer. Looks like he's sitting on pins and needles, seeing this is you. I shared this in the uh, Nocturne by Lonely Evil's Quest with a tea ceremony. Mm, that's pretty dry. Okay, we got an ordinary guy. General Heian of the Sienjo Zhuming will accompany his granddaughter Yunmen to the Law of Fu to participate in the Wardens. In Jingyuan's opinion, Junli and Yangjing are of similar age, love collecting all manner of swords, and have studied swordsmanship since their youth. Those two would definitely hit it off. Yangjing was a little upset when he left the house, and Jingyuan bemusedly asked you why. <laughs> Um, they're trying to security him as a person on him. Maybe he doesn't like you then. I definitely want a better outcome. I want a better outcome, I said. That's better. Um, I can't wish a friends for once. Get on a golden game. Let's go for the golden game, I guess. Should we secondary fit into the, the resulting number of the demon? Yeah, okay. And we get a lot of extra funds. <laughs> Who is the best for us to fight for the ball out front? Dunno. 
Who is the best midfielder suited to organize the team attacks? Kafka. We better have a suit to defend against opposing attacks. Fushran! Let's go for two. Perfect on the end field. Gnaven account has been hacked. The hacker has sent a message saying that unless he gets 5,000 trades, he will delete account. Liki wants to ask your opinion. <laughs> Bleed a little genius of to hate the hacker. I like this response. <laughs> Justice. Um, the traveling merchant Roger has been flagged as a medical doctor after he displayed his prolific life-saving skills. The influx of patients continues unabated, yet as he is about to embark on his next journey, he must explain this clearly to the patients, and he needs to help. Teach him traditional medical treatment. He might have forgotten you once said an unshackled friend, Nanan. He wants to invite you to join the unshackled friendship meet that you are not particularly interested in. In hope of reconciliation. Uh, I mean, if he is an old friend, even if it might not be the same thing, it's always nice to catch up with friends. So Shang feels like returning to Yao Xing for a while when you hear about this. Give us a bit of specialty codes. Okay, just have one remote eye. Let's go four to five. You are the reverie and you overhear guests discussing the IPC's most wanted man, the unkillable swordsman. The chatters are both excited and terrified. From his astronomical bounty to his egregious crimes and from the souls that died under his blade too. Uh, how fast is his blade? Uh, how fast his blade is? How fast can his blade be? The guests are red in the face now, as they have been debating this for two systems. A system hours. Uh, join the discussion. Sweet. I take that. I made it a lot. Mm -hmm. Ha! I beat out your Kobe. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> uh... All right. Just gonna break to Anastasia about it. <laughs> uh... 
Okay. I think we can now all do some story. <laughs> do I kind of like this little mini game? I actually do like uh, monoplay style mini games. Also like um, uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep also has like a uh, monoplay style mini game. Also really like this, especially since it's like actually helps you with leveling your skills since you have like uh, since you can like craft skills and master them and like get better skills that way which is really cool mm. though a few do not like that mini game but i actually quite like it um but yeah. other than that we got a new trailblaze mission the devil in velvet I don't think we will be like be able to fully finish it today, but we can still start it. Um. Hello, Aventurine. How are you? Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. All right. You're right at a point where we, like, discovered uh, Robin's corpse in there. We are literally, like, just starting right off of that. <laughs> Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. First of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. I'm not surprised that they hate him and the IPC, so... This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech, authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? It doesn't look like it, at least. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. So who did it? Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her, the girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger, an imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator who hides her true identity. Hmm. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion, and Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? They're like really putting all of the blame on Ekaren now after like setting up a whole lot of like untrustable people in like the first part. Now they're just shifting completely to putting all the blame on Ekaren, which is interesting. Um, but given like the trailers and design choices they made for Ekaren, um, I'm not surprised that she's a bit sus. But that's okay, so yeah, we, we can't really, really can't trust anyone in here. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. 
I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. You be to notice that, yeah. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Well, we got another Who's one. I to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface. I mean, I would say Sparka is also almost like the shadows. <laughs> Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Yeah, of course. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. I feel like it's a bit harder in Robin's case, though, especially since, like... A lot of people are expecting like to put for to put up a performance for like the festival going on. So uh yeah <laughs> about that. Mm. That's fine. I'm not forcing you. But you're being really pushy about it, I was gonna lie. But I'm really not asking for much, so why don't you at least hear me out, okay? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking. Especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Uh, you get to I hope at least. Really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation I still don't trust him though but don't worry just head back and talk things over with your companions that navigator is really smart she must understand the value of this deal look here's my contact details if you come to any conclusions call me oh and take this a thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. 
so long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Why does he keep randomly give us money? <laughs> this makes the second type that just does like throwing money at us. I'm guessing he is giving us money. Aventuring just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Good question. Yep, you really gave us money. <laughs> uh, come on, eventually, we really uh, uh, like too much to like throw your money around. Hmm. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Uh -huh. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. Oh, yes, it does. At least it appears to be like that. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't toss the title to let it aside, but we should get to the bottom of this for Firefly's sake. That is something I agree on. And we may have to take some risk anyway, with it. be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Okay, interesting. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. She definitely like is possible. said just then. It's oh. Uh, it's best to keep your distance from her. Excellently cut off her was fine, yeah. But yeah, Agarin, um definitely is special. And weird. There's also, like, still this thing where they, like, make her talk in this, like, red line text, which I'm guessing has some kind of meaning. Because also, like, her... I would say her dem... I would call it demeanor. She was a bit like... Um, when she does that. It certainly has, like, a different kind of tone. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Mm-hmm. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. I mean, I also don't really probably know what Silver Wolf and like this uh, armored guy are actually doing here. I feel like... Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. I feel like at the moment they're like the most... <sighs> I could see curious mystery. 
Also, actually, what team do I want to use for the story content at the moment? Mm. I mean, I could throw in Akron, but she's a bit yet. <laughs> Mm. Do I just want to use more? Let's just build up a random fun team for story content. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do I just want to use Ekron for fun anyway? Uh, I would do I need someone who will like another deity character of her. Uh, actually, this is in Bible Lune. Because I want to use those two. Bygones are bygones. But sometimes I wish things had turned out differently. Throw in a sparkle for good measure. Um. I haven't used Bilo in a while. Come on. Also, I should get my controller because I prefer playing this game with controller. <sighs> At least especially in like uh, the fights, I prefer having controller over like keyboard. way this is where we part ways all of this is like a nightmare unfortunately the remembrance doesn't lie what we just saw is the reality that happened and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up but follow your heart and don't be afraid we all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths and ultimately all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Take a long to touch the root of you. You're leaving a cool sensation. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Presentation, then she hands a card over to you. Okay. She has a <laughs> I would say a trap card, maybe. <laughs> or like a card to get us out of a like a memory zone trap, you could say. A counter trap. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Mm, all right. Also, I wouldn't answer this with that's it because like a get, a get out of jail free card is like probably will help you a lot. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Tamo, you still at the hotel in the dreamscape. Tamo, Tamo, who have you run into trouble? We've got separated in the memory zone, but Tamo is with the memo keeper. I feel the NC help. March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. The very hotel in the realm. In the real world, is very calm. Not much is happening.
We're investigating. Where do we want to meet? They're happy to hear that we are safe. <laughs> the lady didn't do anything bad, did she? Nope, she didn't. Mm, I just sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been cordoned off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet someone near the clock statue later. All right. A family wrap. Is Himiko okay? Let's head over to the cloggy statue. Wait, did I hear a bird just now? I feel like I heard a bird. But I'm not seeing any. I have to try again later. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Mm, sure. Guess I'll be good. Some time ago, deep in memory zone. Perish that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. It appears the outcome has already been determined. You're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. Hmm. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. She actually is a nihility character. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn. Destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't believe them. Hmm. My flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have fallen. You have traveled farther than I have. 
Who is he talking about? <sighs> I mean, it's the ears, maybe. shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but grief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called him. Possible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right, I accept. Huh? You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream a bottomless dream <laughs> yes that's right but you've made one small mistake this blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn it's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose but perhaps out of reciprocity She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Mm hmm. That it is not. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but. Why? <sighs> Did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. Perhaps. That's okay. Not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason? What you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why 
Rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's hmm. not yet time. I'm curious who is actually under that armor. Need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Huh. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. I'm actually not surprised. It appears like the Stellaron Hunters has, uh, have been pushing us along for quite a while now. Like, ever since her the space station. I've been in the background scheming their stuff and always been like, for some weird reason, helping us along. And not really actually, like, getting our way. Even though a few times it appeared like it, but they've actually been more helpful than, like, yeah, a hindrance. The so called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams... About everyone who died... Because of you? I don't. Never have. Oh. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. So... I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. Hmm. Hmm, I guess. Probably because referring to like envy is in human emotion. Present day golden hour. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. 
Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Mm -hmm. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Panacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. And it definitely would be a panic. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Indeed, he was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Mm -hmm, true. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. I agree with you there, Himiko. Let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Mm -hmm. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. For the time also being. Need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Adventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Aww. <laughs> it's cool you can bully me whenever. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's look at the big picture now. You're like a broken record. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, 
Take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay, always open to pull for your game account. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. we we'll collaborate, I guess. One of his boss came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll be in this together. Here's a small something for the upcoming. <laughs> Why does he keep giving us money? Just as anticipated, the family is going to sweep Robert's case under the rug for as long as they can, so her case is only a secret between us. But the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I take my leave for now, and I look forward to an uh, outstanding performance from you guys. All right. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Wir kriegen sogar wirklich die 200.000 Credits. Not gonna complain. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Hmm. He's definitely going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. That's true. Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. Also, Black Swan seems to be, like, weirdly fixated on her. For whatever reason. Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Well, that he's a gambler is quite obvious, not gonna lie. Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Mm -hmm. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. 
You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? A gender woman, I wouldn't say. Nah, she's just very mysterious. Powerful tool, but primarily mysterious. Okay. Not sure what this is implicating here that... She's an Nihility character. She is a Nihility character. So she's like following the path of Nihility. Has she some like... Potentially memory altering abilities? So like... In the in the kinds of like, I wouldn't say hypnosis, but definitely in the kind of like suggestions that you can like put suggestions in like someone's head and enforce them a bit, so to say. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. That everything's just some horrible prank. Also, it actually would not be that far off of like an idea because Kafka actually has like a somewhat similar ability. Because like Kafka has like a certain power with her words which can like uh, especially keep Blade under control. Um, towards the um, Agarans would be like a more, uh, even more subconscious thing than Kafka's. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? <sighs> Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Ah, <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. <sighs> Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Hmm, I feel like this will be hard to do because 
Firefly has been implying that this situation is like very special. Since she's like being hospitalized and everything um, in reality. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh-huh. Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Hmm. Let's buy it on. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared out like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Well. Is there something about my name? Uh, having seen her like her toys and stuff, I've felt like, okay, she probably won't have a connection to her in Rockford. But her questioning the name Weld right at this moment is even more implying a connection to Honkai Beckford. <laughs> Come on, the game. First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Wait, wait, I want... What did you... I want to double check what she meant about this black hole. Black hole. Not even should be this purge. Unless I did plenty of things. I don't think that's a blade. Uh, uh, what were they called again? Mm. Oh, forget, I forgot what the specific map, uh, weapons were called. But he is like a weapon made out of um, a former Herschel core from like the previous era. I forgot what they were called again. But yeah, they're like they're referencing um, a specific weapon, which you should, which you should actually know from Hunker Impact Third, which he took along with him, which gives him like this black hole powers.
Mm. And what's more, there were plenty of us. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellar on them. Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No, four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Uh, okay. There's time time hotel and the real I've been world. watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Also, we actually just like uh, dropped into a honker back third on my phone. And just to try and figure out what they were called again. Um. <laughs> Great. I think it's like this one weapon in particular. Uh. Uh. All right, they were called divine keys. Now it comes back. Yep. They were called Divine Keys. Um. Yep. And I think, like, well, got one of the Divine Keys from Hunker Bigford. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple of cups of Wake the Heck Up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them.
The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Hmm. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Just getting more and more curious. Gradations 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Penacony. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way, it's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? Who are you? It's I like a notice voice. No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> ...unforgettable time together. It's probably just me knowing you boys, Hector. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable 
Memories. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? This was such weird interaction. Switching to Adventure Ruins POV. <laughs> All right. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Rek talking about a different planet. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. I'm getting confused. Rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. I'm literally getting like confused. They've or they're already like talking cryptically as hell, and now we are talking about a completely different planet, which, at least for the moment, has nothing to do with all of this. Oh, come on, game. <laughs> uh... You promised us a land of honey. Yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Am I supposed to know what Afghan, Kaleka, and Fengabios mean? I mean, they're like. Context markings for like, uh, like different names, but I have no clue what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is this Gonia maybe something to do with Ekron's past or Aventurine's past? Wait, maybe I miss, maybe I've forgotten or just misremembering, but. Was the Adventure from Zagonia? Maybe? Or so maybe Adventure Wings background. I guess we will see. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this 
must child be born to face impending death. Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <gasps> raining! It's true! Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. That doesn't voice sounds familiar. <laughs> down a gift like this from Gayathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. Ah, Dr. Raishu. I don't know from which, like, religion those names stem, because I'm guessing they're, like, references to some religion. So... Most of that just, like, went over the top of my head, so I couldn't really make a lot of sense out of what she was talking about here. So, yeah, I'm still confused about this little section. Maybe, like, <laughs> if not in the chat right now, maybe someone, like, under the word on YouTube in the comments. Maybe may give me a hint to make like make me understand it a bit better. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Because it's left me like hella confused. <laughs> Though I'm certain now it was like Evangeline we saw there and it's like about Evangeline's past, but yeah. The finer details and what all like the implications of that are is like is what like went over the top of my head. Oh heavens! <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony, using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. 
Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Huh. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward... has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. <sighs> to get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. <laughs> come on, Anastasia, don't complain. But have a good night, and sleep well. And just, that language voice acting makes it easier for me and the ones watching the stream to follow along. That's why I put Japanese. Uh, this is why I put English, not Japanese. It just makes it easier to follow along and don't always have like to pay attention to the text. That's why I do it. A probability. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? Oh. Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? <laughs> okay. If it were the former. It would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. 
Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Ooh, what show? Wow, Gary is. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. The fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manor wasn't this heavily guarded. <laughs> this mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? They don't seem to be on the best terms anyway. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. Pewee switch, eventual jeans. Fits ensemble, okay. As the story unfolds, you have the chance to progress the story from other characters' POV. When entering character POV for the first time, a character automatically plays first in your team. Catching fates and that is and you carry on going mission and complete the mission is in. You change your POV to continue the story. This is interesting that it actually like make us swap <laughs> POVs. Interesting. Um and actually It's almost close to midnight for, midnight for me. I feel like this would be a like, good opportunity to end the stream here. We had like a lot of yeah stuff or uh, thrown at us in terms of cutscene and <laughs> a bit of lore, I would say. Um, you know, I'm curious what we're gonna explore with Adventure Reen and that's right plays later on, and then we actually get. Which we in the party instead of a pilot or a So I get to keep, keep get to keep the rest of my party. Huh. But yeah. As I said, we will be continuing with this another time. I just hope it's not locking me out of doing stuff. So let me just test. Oh, uh, that. I actually hop off. Okay, you're just switching back way to the previous POE. Okay. Good. But yeah. Oops. Next time around, I would say we will continue, especially with eventually uh, POE um So yeah. <sighs> Let's see if there's anyone trade before the end. Uh, Just a bit of a jump on Twitch. I hope it also loads this time around. Oh, guess I got a Raven Blood, which we raided last time, actually, is live. And I actually found it quite nice, since I've actually watched it along for a stream a bit. So, sure, we can give her another raid. I feel like she deserves it. Hmm. Alright, uh. I wanna jump in here. 
So we are we gonna raid her. She's actually playing Genshin. Fitting since we played it earlier, but yeah. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you don't mind that I also like jumped into Soria a bit. Um though we did didn't do that much but we did like a first peek into these new story updates and it actually got me quite curious so we're definitely gonna continue with that soon more sooner than later and yeah i really appreciate some support always um nice to be singing around here and with that being said How we liked it. I hope we'll be seeing each other next time. Be nice in the raid. Leave some love. And we'll see you seeing us next time. And then. Bye bye.